what's up you guys so today i'm going to show you what i eat throughout the entire day today so starting with breakfast i obviously just made a coffee and now i'm going to make doubled eggs but instead of making them with mayo i'm going to use avocado um, so i'm going to make those have some fruit and keep my breakfast a little bit lighter today and then i will show you what i eat throughout the rest of the day but we're going to start with breakfast first and here we go okay, so i'm going to start with two hard boiled eggs and just crack them Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut them in half. And remove the yolks. And then this is a smaller avocado, so I'm gonna actually use half of it. And put that in with the egg yolks. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of mustard and salt and pepper here is the mixture and I'm just going to fill the eggs with that Then I'm going to top them with a little bit of everything but the bagel. Okay, so I have my eggs and some grapes and that is what I'm going to have for breakfast. I already took a bite of one of these and they are so good. If you like deviled eggs, I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but these are so good and obviously way better than actual double eggs and so yummy so good you guys I think the tiny bit of mustard really helps make it taste like actual deviled eggs because that is like one of the main ingredients in actual deviled eggs and I feel like it just helps I don't know, make them taste more like the actual thing. Yeah. What are your guys' go-to like quick and easy like during the week breakfast? I feel like during the week you don't want to go like full out like you would on a weekend. Um, but I don't like oatmeal that much and I don't really like yogurt at all. So I feel like those two things are like, I don't know, quick and easy and fill you up but I'm just not a fan of either of them. Oatmeal I can do sometimes and I don't mind it, but yogurt's like a hard no in my book. Um, so do you guys have any ideas for quick and easy breakfast in the morning that I can just like throw together kind of like this? It took me like five minutes and it's healthy. That's a plus. <laughs> It is lunchtime and we just got back from Costco actually. We just became members today, which is super exciting. I was pumped. It was like Christmas day for me. So I picked up, I asked on my Instagram what I should get at Costco and so many people said their rotisserie chicken because it's huge and it's only $4. So we grabbed one of those. So I'm gonna do a barbecue chicken salad for lunch and just kind of use stuff that we have in our fridge and stuff we got today. So I got like this big Tillamook, I think is how you say it, cheese. Um, this is our favorite kind of cheese right now. So we got that and I'm just gonna make a salad. I'll show you guys obviously everything I put in it. So let's start chopping up things. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up all of the veggies for the salad. So I'm gonna use the rest of this avocado that I had the mor this morning, um, an onion, some celery and then I have some pickled jalapenos here that I'm gonna just dice up all of this to be honest 
honest, I don't really need to be fair. To be honest, I've been caught up in the deep end. What you wanted, I've been rolling on the road, so kinda close though. On the way home, I've been five bags and she keep tags. Hairstyle, nails done, but she checking for a waist, man. I'm gonna put a little spring mix in the bottom. This has been like my favorite lettuce salad um, this summer. It's so good. And then I'm just gonna start topping it with all of our jalapenos, onion, some avocado, the chicken, and then some fresh cheese. For my dressing, I'm gonna mix a little bit of spicy barbecue sauce. It is, this is the brand. So good, if you like spicy stuff, this one is amazing. And then just a little bit of ranch. And then I'm just gonna drizzle that on top of everything. Okay, we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna try to, to get a little bit of everything. I do love putting black beans and corn in this. Um, I just didn't want to open a can of both of them just for like a lunch. Um, but if we make this for a dinner, I add corn and beans just to make it maybe a little bit more filling. But this is what we're having for lunch. Mmm. So yummy. Buying rotisserie chicken like that is so good for quick lunches, like just to put chicken in your salad or make a chicken salad, like sandwich or wrap or something. It's just so easy and I don't know, I love a good rotisserie chicken. Nothing really beats like a really good salad sometimes. I don't know, I love them. I had um, a lemon vinaigrette dressing at a restaurant recently and it was just like this most simple salad but the lemon vinaigrette was so bomb that i need to find either a brand that makes it or just like make it myself It'd probably be really easy it's probably like lemon and olive oil honestly but it was so good um i'm not crazy about balsamic so i'm trying to like obviously dressings can be really unhealthy like the one i'm eating right now um so i want to try to make something that i don't know i still like and it's not balsamic based because i just i'm not huge on that flavor Few hours later now and I'm a little hungry so I'm going to have a little snack and we just picked these up at Costco um, I've had the parm crisp before but I've never seen the like little snack mix and they had it as a sample which it's the best part about Sam's Club or Costco are the samples and they have this as a sample today so I tried it and it was actually super good what's all in it there's the parm crisp, uh, pistachios, almonds, cashews, and I think that's it. Yeah, but anyways, they're super good. So I'm just going to put a couple in a bowl and have them as a little snack. I feel like putting them in a bowl helps like stop me from eating like the entire bag because if I sit on the couch with this whole thing, I'd probably eat like double the amount of like what I'm going to put in the bowl. So... That's just kind of my trick. So I'm going to have this as a little snack. It's dinner time and we are gonna actually make something we've never made before. I saw it on TikTok and it looked so good that we've been thinking about it since I saw the TikTok. Basically, David's going to make chicken kebabs on the grill, and then I'm going to make this salad, and it's um, cucumber, tomato, red onion, kalamata olives, and then like lemon and olive oil, and you dice it all really fine. And then I'm going to make a tzatziki sauce and some rice, so it's going to be kind of like a Greek-inspired little like 
dish but mostly we're making this because we really wanted to try that salad it looked really good so that's what we're making for dinner and i'm going to start basically chopping a ton of vegetables I'm going to start by making the tzatziki sauce just so that can sit a little bit. Um, I've shown this a bunch on here, but you basically just take some Greek yogurt, cucumber, dill, lemon juice, garlic, and mix it all together. And then I let it sit for just as long as you can. Um, mine's only going to be for like an hour. So I'm going to make that really quick and then we'll move on to the most exciting part. All right, for the TikTok salad, that's what I'm going to call it only because that's where I found it. Um, I have cucumbers, red onion, Roma tomatoes, the juice of like one and a half lemons and some Kalamata olives and salt. And that is all that's in the salad. And you basically just dice these up as small as you can. And I think that's probably like what makes the salad as good as it is. Um, so I'm going to turn on some music and chop up all these vegetables. Okay, I have the salad done and it looks amazing. It's, I mean, I feel like we've had all of these ingredients together before, but I feel like it's like the finely diced, the yeah. lemon, the salt. It's Very just, satisfying to watch it be chopped yeah. up and put together these little pieces. I'm gonna try it. Okay, go ahead. Mm. It's very good. Do you like it's it? It's like crunchy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of like the lemon juice flavor. It's really good. Yeah. Be a good side dish for sure. Oh my god, it's like so fresh. I think that's what I like about it. Okay. Thank you, TikTok. Here is what the salad looks like once it's all mixed together. So good, you guys. You got to try this. All right, everything is prepared, so I'm gonna put everything together. All right, I'm going to start by putting some spring mix at the bottom of the plate. Place the chicken. Put some rice down. Put some of our salad. A tiny bit of feta. And then I'm just going to drizzle over the tzatziki sauce over the chicken. And then just do a little bit of pepper. And we're done. Remy's going to join us for the final taste test. This looks amazing. I know I'm going to like it because I love any like Mediterranean type dish. Mmm, yum. That salad's a game changer. It's definitely my favorite part of the whole meal. Yeah. Yum. Mmm, mmm. All right, you guys definitely need to try out at least that salad, if not this whole meal. It is so good. But I think that is all I'm gonna eat for today. If it's not, I'll pop back on, but I think it's going to be. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.